The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown, and I just finished The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Both of them. I can't put the Dan Brown one down. I just finished a novel on the train just now. It's The Stranger by Albert Camus. I loved it. I was just looking at Wikipedia when you walked over to see what other books of his I should read. Oh, I am a five-month-old, so we're reading a lot of children's books right now. Good Night Moon is a favorite. There's one that's called Mommy Hugs and Daddy Kisses. It's really cute. There's a book I just read, I think it's The Three Americans in London. It's just about the World War II, Edward R. Murrow and those guys and what they did with Churchill. I just read, I read Riding the Bus with my sister. Not a sad story, it's an inspirational story. And I think my favorite book of the year has been Cutting for Stone. I'm reading the third of the Stieg Larsson books, so the girl who kicked the hornet's nest. I have been reading about some of our, our former great presidents. I'm reading Lincoln on Leadership. I've also been reading Bob Buford's books, Halftime, which is about arriving at the second half of life and, and moving from success towards significance. I'm actually in the middle of reading Crime and Punishment. Okay. I've always wanted to read it and finally I have some time. Well, I read Water for Elephants recently. Like first bookstore recommendation. I read a book by James Patterson called Sale and that was a really good book. I have Plague Dogs which is a really old book that I've just started getting into. You know, I read the trilogy, and I cannot even think of the man's name from Sweden. The girl with the dragon tattoo, yeah, yeah. and the girl who played with fire, and I, I loved it, and it's just a shame the, the man has uh, passed away. Well, currently I'm reading Painter Saint of Liars, which is by Ann Patchett. I love all of her books, so I'm just kind of following the next ones that she's coming out with. Yes, I am in a book club, and I'm reading Her Fearful Symmetry by a woman from... Lake Forest? Have you read that? Okay. <laughs> I've been in like a big like Arctic Monkeys type of genre. Q101 type stuff too. More like alternative. I listen to a lot of classical music. Yeah. Well today it was Schubert. Okay. I listen to a lot of the fray and I kind of have my music tastes all over the place so. Okay. A little bit of classical, a little bit of Broadway. The movie I'm Not There, the Bob Dylan biopic. I just got the soundtrack to that, which is awesome because it's a lot of Bob Dylan covers by people who can actually sing, so. I love the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> they can turn any bad day around. Nothing new. My latest CD was the Cat Stevens. <laughs> Starbucks, they have a Cat Stevens. Old, old music. I like LaRue. I also like a lot of old stuff. Well, I just was here at Ravinia and I saw Train, so that was a great concert. and. I like to listen to like the Smiths and Cure and Smithereens and like that. I just recently got into Muse. Okay. I'm really liking them. I listen to everything yeah. from like Boston to Creed to Duff Leopard to okay. Kanye West, everything. Oh. It's been a night at Ravinia, night before last, and it was wonderful. Okay. You know, Who did you see? see? It was the Illinois Symphony doing Tchaikovsky. Oh. Like Tribe Called Quest. I listen to a lot of Tribe Called Quest or anything in that kind of a genre of rap before it kind of got violent and and not really fun to listen to. <laughs> I really like Kid Cudi. He's coming out with a new album soon in this fall, so I'm looking forward to that. I listen to a lot of underground metal. Nakmistium. Yeah, they're out of Chicago. A lot of bands out of Chicago. I do artwork for, for bands in Chicago, so that's pretty much, I listen to that to get you know, motivated, get good ideas and yeah. stuff like that. I have been listening to Vanessa Williams, The okay. Real Thing. I think I go back to the 60s. Well, I mean, Neil Diamond and, you know, all that kind of that kind of music. I have little girls, so sometimes a lot of children's rock kind of music, but I also listen to 93.9 a lot. And then just the local PBS stations and that kind of stuff. Classic rock. If it wasn't from the 60s or 70s, <laughs> it just doesn't count, yeah. Steely Dan and Pink Floyd.